Cosmic Snake. I'm proud to announce that preparations for Metal Gear Zeke are complete. We can activate it any time. Got it. Thanks, Huey. No need to thank me. At least now I can finally say I helped you with something. You can use it in Outer Ops, too. Just select Zeke when you're forming your unit. Be sure to take it out for a field test. Okay. You can change weapons and check memory boards just like before. Use your observations from a field test to make any adjustments. A work in progress, huh? There's something I need to discuss with you, boss. Get to the point, Kaz. We recovered the nuclear warhead that was loaded onto Peace Walker from the bottom of Lago Cosibolca. What? Warheads are radioactive, even if they're relatively stable. If we just left it there, it would contaminate the lake or fall into the hands of terrorists. Creating another crisis. Right. So while the White House is figuring out how to cover its ass, I thought we'd take some precautions. What did you have in mind? Load it onto Zeke. What? What else would we do with it? Zeke is our deterrent. To protect ourselves from nuclear attack, we need a nuclear weapon ourselves. Ah. Uh... Of course, if you're not on board, we could always dispose of it. But it won't be easy getting another nuke. This is a golden opportunity. We could always get rid of it later. Load it onto some fishing boat and leave it out in the middle of the ocean. No one would ever know it's there. But if you want to get rid of it, boss, we'll get rid of it. No. Don't. As long as there are nukes out there, we need one ourselves if we're going to be a world power. I knew you'd see it that way, boss. So as long as we stand apart from nations, we need something to put us on equal footing. In a way, MSF is a country itself. And we just became the world's seventh nuclear power. Nuclear power... So, here we are. As you can guess by the start of this, we now have a Zeke. So, main parts, walk unit, power unit, legs, head, optional. Uh, we can give it a radar dome. And a railgun. Neat. That makes me happy. What's our stats like? 22 mobility, 34 cents, 16 attack, and 20 control, so not too shabby. So it's ready. Nice. Now I think I have to deploy it once. And that's not it. We have to deploy it once. So, dispatch. Um. Oh, it's only a little thing. Okay. Well, we're not going to send it on anything crazy. No. We just want to field test it. Yeah. Metal Gear Zeke. And combat units. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a toss up between those two for me. But have better aim and just in case we send another one out right so we 
can deploy Zeke. And we have a lot of GMP after doing those boss runs. Holy mackerel. Nothing's really jumping out as important. Uh, high capacity. Stun C4. That probably increases the muzzle velocity. Okay, we'll do that. And that. Still got a, quite a bit left. Placeable stun grenade. Just in case. And I want to check something. Okay. Right. So now we've got to go and do one of these. Um, main ops, extra ops. Have I got. Please say I've got the one. Yes, I have. Defend all targets. This is exactly what I want. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. Thank you. Right, mission prep. That's what I've been going in for combat. Uh, we'll go with that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Foul. Ooh, got a nice variety of those. Getting there. And that is back up. Uh, we don't need an aerial mine. Go with stun. Actually, if we go supply marker, then stun. Yeah. Right, let's see what we get. Dun, 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 dun. Those boxes contain important supplies. Make sure nothing happens to them. That's two. <laughs> oh, come back here. coming from Ooh, that got to have hurt
Come on. I keep shooting the box. Where are you? have one guard missing. Oh, he's up there dying. Do, 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 do. And there we are. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. So, you're probably wondering why I made them numbered ordered and tackled this one. There's actually a really good reason. You'll see once it's complete. As I get a briefcase of hiccups. It, uh, happened again, Snake. Oh, it's the doorknob. What's he got, an escape fetish? He clearly has friends on the inside, but we've got no way of knowing who. Yeah. Persistent bastard, I'll give him that. Where is he this time? That's the thing. He must have found and gotten rid of the transmitter. We've got no idea where he is. Snake, think you can find him? We can't just let him run around. Makes us look bad. I'll say. Since we can't locate him, I'm afraid I can't add a new mission. You know what to do, Snake. Oh yes, I do. Hey. Okay. Skip those, go okay. Um, first things first, in here, weapons. There you are. Um, anything else? No, not for now. Right, let's uh, do this. Yeah, we'll watch. do a bit of damage. Oh, they're gonna last a little bit longer. Whoa. Okay, that's handy in a pinch. Thanking you. Ah, uh, so we need to... Oh, balls. Again, no. Because I need to now take it out of this section. It'll all make sense what I'm doing shortly. Right, let's go find Zdurnov. Just so happens I have a really good idea where he is. 
target practice. As a special treat, you can practice freely. Thank you. Uh, mission prep. Stealth. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Welcome to the shooting range. Just the place for a little target practice, huh? When you're done, head over to the exit. Thank you. Hear that chuckle? I uh, just wanted to get that. Yeah. Something's not right here. I'm thinking he had a friend. Someone inside MSF. Huh? What's going on? It's Zeke. It's moving. What? There's somebody inside. I can see them. Snake, get up here. Pronto! Myself, all right. My true self. Cause, shut that thing down. I can't. The controls aren't responding. Then how's it moving? I made some modifications. This machine was meant to have a human pilot. Modifications. What are you? Never thought I'd be into machines, huh? Then Zidorno's escape was a diversion. Paz, what are you doing? I'm taking it back. Taking it back? Where? To our leaders. To Cypher. Cypher? This weapon is Cypher's creation. Paz, get down from there. Do not call me that. I am Pacifica Ocean. <laughs> My name, my age, my mission. Cypher gave them all to me. My entire life has but one purpose. To carry out Cypher's plan. The nasty tobacco. The angel of peace crap. The whole teen with a dream routine. I am through with all of it. Pause. You can't. I told you not to call me that. It makes me want to puke. Project is finally about to reach its goal. The real project. Once upon a time, there were two young men who idolized a hero called the Boss. One day, they suddenly lost the point of origin. 
decipher. That was like a mother to them. Unable to come to terms with their sorrow, they each decided to carry on the will of their hero. But they could not agree on what that meant. In the end, they became bitter enemies. And the zero from which they both started was split into two. <laughs> and you have been on the wrong path ever since. There is no happily ever after waiting for you in the end. Unless... You obey the will of Cypher. Where does an army without borders call home? A state without borders, of course. A world without borders. A world without borders? The Cold War Order is about to collapse. The Age of Electronic Intelligence is about to begin. The NSA, CSS, NRO, DIA, etc., etc. The intelligence community that is long bickered amongst itself will be united in a world governed by electrons. Cypher will gather all information, watching over the world and guiding the will of its people, all while they remain blissfully unaware. There will be no one to oppose them. For the first time, the world will be ruled by a single will. Until the new order is in place, you and your army will be the force that protects it. You will be Cypher's deterrent, pulling the wool over the ice of the old order with your charisma and military prowess. Accept our offer. And we will allow you to retain control of MSF and Zeke. That's an offer. The boss threw down her gun, and with it, her life's calling. You, her disciple, have never been able to do that. You are too afraid to let go. I was made to fight. I am a gun. Is that so? Then what do you call this? Is it a gun too? You are a lousy liar. Admit it. This thing is a monstrosity, a product of your own fear. But not Cypher. Cypher thought of something different. Cypher's going to control guns. Control guns? That is right. Not deter. Control. It is the ultimate approach to the illusion of peace. Control power. You're gonna be disappointed. Then we are done. We are done. Thank you for playing. Better luck next time. The offer is rescinded. And now the ultimatum. Zeke is already in nuclear strike mode. What? I'm taking the weapon you built and using it to launch a nuclear strike on the east coast of the United States. You're insane. What are you after? But wait. Here is your consolation prize. We are about to show the world just how dangerous a gang of outlaws, an army without borders, can be. You and your men will become pariahs, and you will be wiped off the face of the earth. Rather than heroes, you will be seen as a well-armed extremist cult prone to indiscriminate outbursts of nuclear aggression. You will give rise to a new world order, an age of deterrence defined by a fear of extremist cult influence. Do you like the picture I am painting? Big boss. When all is said and done, peace is nothing but a fantasy. A game is a game. You either win or you lose. All you can do is fight. Stop me if you can. The peace sign is the V of victory. Say, peace. She's gonna launch a nuke. Snake, we've got to stop her. Whatever it takes. Awaiting your orders. So I get the idea that she's um, being in water to be protected. That doesn't explain why she has to be in her underwear. Right, I just want to check something. 0%, okay. I'm going to quickly do an extra op to get that weapon done. So, bear with me. Okay, it's going to take three extra ops to get what I want done. So, with that in mind, let's just press on. Uh, let's 
Zeke app battle. Paz is taking control of Metal Gear Zeke. Stop her launching the nuke. Get Zeke back. Okay, mission prep. Gonna go battle. Get rid of those. Um. Put an aerial mine. Actually. Use one of those. Aerial mine. Um, decoy. And chaff. Ration chips. Ooh. Better curry. So, let's put the better curry there, and uh, where's the tortilla chips? pretty quick. Okay, this may take a couple attempts. She's gonna launch a nuke. Snake, we've got to stop her. Whatever it takes. Awaiting your orders. Stop me, you can. Certainly going to try. Oh, I forgot it's done to music. You have to stop past before she can launch that nuke. We've activated the hatches up on day. You can use the covers as long as they're open. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Okay. Strike request acknowledged. We'll need you to tag the target directly. First, make sure you're safe by pressing up against the wall. Okay, so we now hit. Anti-ship missile ready to fire. We can't fire from that position. Use a different platform. Ooh. The rocket launcher's reloaded. Let them have it. Ooh.
Come on. Okay. Ow. That's fine. Let me just activate this because this gets us. Come on. Thank you. Come on, come on. I know I'm not fast because... Yes! Uh, not liking this bit. Oh, come on. There we are. Ooh! Closer than what I was hoping. Okay, let's keep this going. Okay, I need... This. Okay. Thanking you, I need that ration. Come on. I'm working on it. And there's another ration. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow. 
Ow. Come on. Okay, that's that. Come on, reload, reload. Hey, that's not too bad. Who would have thought that little girl was working against us? Tell me about it. She had everybody fooled, me included. I can't believe I didn't pick up on anything. Snake, there's no point in beating yourself up over the past. But hey, maybe you should put in some practice against Zeke in case this sort of thing ever happens again. In any case, I need to go talk to Dr. Strangelove. Zeke still isn't ready. Huey! How's it going? How's Zeke look? The attitude control AI had a backup, so it should be able to walk. Really? Well, that's good. 
Beyond that, it's up to the creator. Stop! Don't come any closer, Doctor. There's... something I've been meaning to ask you. Do you... do you despise me? Doctor, are you asking me out? No, no. <laughs> Not at all. Uh... No? Hmm. Pity. Because I've just had my heart broken by someone else. What? I only like those who can stand on their own. If you fancy me, then come walk with me. Who knows what miracles might happen. Love is blind after all. Take your time. I'll be waiting. That name Poss mentioned at the end, Cypher, it's a code. It means empty. It also means... Zero. A world of electronic intelligence, built on codes, and at the center of it all, a zero. Cause... Uh, look boss, I owe you an apology. Hear me out, okay? <sighs> sure. I, uh, knew Puss and the Professor. I knew who they really were all along. Cuz... I used them. I suppose you were the one that brought them to Columbia in the first place, huh? Guilty as charged. Puss wasn't just CIA, you know. She was working for the KGB, too. And for this Cypher group. In other words, she was a triple agent. You knew all of this? Wait, let me finish. Listen, MSF never would have gotten this big if it weren't for them. This mercenary business we built, someday it's going to be a new driving force in the world economy. <sighs> is that your goal all along? The Cold War is not going to last forever. Sooner or later it's going to give way to an era of regional conflicts and terrorism. A paradigm shift from counter-communism to counter-terrorism in the New Age. Armies won't be tied to states, and war will become a business. We'll be a valuable commodity. There'll be clients all over the world who need our services. MSF is only the beginning. What we're creating here is a revolution in itself. Am I right? Cuz, it's not going to be that easy. What do you mean? This whole Peace Walker thing has left our mark on the history of the Old Order. We've put ourselves on the radar of intelligence agencies and governments east and west. The whole world probably knows about us now. Including that Cypher outfit. We've let ourselves interfere with the times. With the Cold War system of deterrence. We're an army without a flag. We weren't supposed to take sides in international affairs, but we did. I see your point. So what happens to us now? We'll be hunted. Not everybody's gonna be happy with us, huh? You're damn right. We upset the global military balance of power. And these people would rather our army without borders not exist at all? They're gonna come knocking real soon. There's no turning back now. We're a wrench in the old system of deterrence. As long as the times refuse to change, we're gonna make a hell of a racket. Then who are we gonna fight? The establishment. 
Anybody who tries to restore the old balance wants to snuff us out of existence. Which establishment? It won't be a particular country or ideology that hunts us. Who then? We are going to be fighting the biggest beast of all. The Times. Ten years ago, the Times rejected the boss and killed her. And now, we're the ones being tested. Will the Times erase us? Or work with us? It's gonna be a lonely battle. No good or evil. No winners or losers. Business will have to wait. The question we have to ask ourselves now is, can we survive long enough to see the 21st century? I'm with you, boss. We'll see how it turns out, together. So, that was Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, a game that I've been putting off for far too long because the implications of playing this means that not only is Ground Zero's next, but also the Phantom Pain. But I'll get onto those subjects in a little bit. And another subject after something else. But first and foremost, I would like to say a big thank you to the Metal Gear Solid community who are still active on this game. This was run on a PlayStation 4 and I pretty much always got a multiplayer game very, very quickly. I don't think that there's many games that can hold up to that. I mean, heck, even if you go back to Metal Gear Solid 3 when it released MGO and um, Metal Gear Solid 4 when it released MGO2, I think that's the right order, or was it with Metal Gear Solid 3 it was MGO, then Subsistence MGO2, and then um, 4 was MGO3, uh, that may have been it. But those communities would still be active now if the servers had remained open. This game demonstrates that there is a love for this content for what it what it's done uh, certain boundaries that the games have pushed this one um, it's up there with one and two at uh, one and three with me it's to me and before Metal Gear Solid uh, the Phantom Pain came out this was considered as Metal Gear Solid 5 and you can see it the story does go into the direction of where you expect a Metal Gear game to go you get to see um, Snake become Big Boss in a sense or the starting footsteps in the movement uh, I mean um, Pico Chico, 
Chico. Uh, that's a kid, and he's got the kid on Mother Base, which definitely introduces the idea of perhaps training kids in the future to be able to do um, war and be part of it. And considering if you look at um, the cast of Metal Gear Solid 1, a, lot, a few of those were indoctrinated into war at an early age. So it all kind of lays the foundation of Big Boss's direction. And that I like. I don't see the point in Paz being in underwear in Metal Gear Zeke. I mean, I understand the water thing because earlier in the game they said that the shaking of it would like break the bones of a person so it makes sense to encase them in water to take the shock out but at the same time it's like very Japanese and that's the v very best way that I can put it this was first released on the PSP I hit a wall on playing that game on the PSP because the control system just wasn't up to it at all but having them port it over to the PS3 and you get the extra couple of buttons it just so works like a normal Metal Gear game and the quality is there it is as I say one of my favorites but I'm repeating myself there from here the direction is obvious, Ground Zeroes and then Phantom Pain. Um, I'm going to leave it up to yourselves. Um, I may come back to the extra ops, but if you want me to do a mini-series going through every single one of the extra ops, then please let me know in the comments, because it's something I could consider doing. Also. Um, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to do a Metal Gear Portable Ops, Metal Gear Acid and Metal Gear Acid 2 playthroughs on the channel. Um, I've got them all on original PSP so I kind of feel happier about emulating those games. But I want to know if you think you'd like to see that sort of content because Metal Gear Acid is certainly different and in Kojima's eyes Portable Ops isn't canon because it's not got a Hideo Kojima game on it, as to say. Um, which I find sort of frustrating because there is some character building in that game that does add to it, so yeah. But this has been my Peace Walker playthrough. I'm going to let you enjoy the song. And after the post credits bit i will come back and i will say a little bit more to fight. We fight because we are needed. 
We will be the deterrent for those with no other recourse. We are soldiers without borders, our purpose defined by the era we live in. We will sometimes have to sell ourselves and services. If the times demand it, we'll be revolutionaries, criminals, terrorists. And yes, we may all be headed straight to hell. But what better place for us than this? It is our only home, our heaven, and our hell. This is our heaven. Nice. Oh, controller turned off. Give me a moment. Stealth mat, stealth gun. And we have personnel report and a report from R&D. That's done. And that's done. A bit late. Stealth gun. And skip that. So, yes, if you look at the game and how this has ended, and if you have the foreknowledge of any basic rudimentary understanding of Metal Gear, the original game, not the Metal Gear Solid, but Metal Gear, the setup, they have a base. They've just called it Outer Heaven. Big Boss is running it. They have a nuke and they have a Metal Gear. This was a perfect setup for finalizing the series and closing it in a nice little loop. And to me, that's kind of why I'm dreading the next bit because I have a lot of feelings on Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain and I think it's time that they come out some fresh air. But I think the next thing I need to do is jump in and uh, see if we've got any new briefing tapes. So that's it. This is the finale for now. Like I say, uh, let me know in the comments what other Metal Gear content you'd like to see me play on the channel. And we have Ground Zeroes and uh, Phantom Pain coming up soon. Thanks for watching, have a good one, till next time.